Alex in Minnesota writes to me and he says, I realize my ears are either really sensitive to the incredibly loud music at live venues or they've become more so after having not attended them for a while due to COVID. While you've mentioned on your channel before that you carry earplugs with you in case you are in a loud environment like that, I do wonder if there are many well-liked companies or products geared to making music still sound good when it's attenuated. Well, we talked about this yesterday, actually, and, and it was on the subject of age and hearing and how our brains are so adaptable that the connection between the hearing and the brain is really what hearing is all about. It isn't so much our ears as instruments, it's our ear-brain connection so that I know every time I make that noise, I pay attention to it. I record that. I know, hear that slight ring in it? Okay, that ring is recorded in my head to whatever extent my ears have taken it in and I've made a recording of that and I pay attention to it. Now if I do it again and something is different, I know something in here has changed. Why is that valuable? It's just a valuable skill that we all have to some extent. We know the sound of a baby cry. We know the sound of, it's too quiet in here with those children. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's this ear brain connection. Okay, so earplugs. There are some great earplugs out there, and I have spent hundreds of dollars finding earplugs that work for me. I have literally spent hundreds of dollars. Um, I've got ones that stick out like a goon, and they kind of work, but they're uncomfortable. I have ones that slide into your ear and push in, and they are comfortable, you can't see them, but they don't attenuate enough. And I wind up pulling them out after a concert and I get ringing in my ears. And ringing in your ears is, unless it's tinnitus, but which is a natural thing that uh, all, I have some, I have tinnitus, that, that, that sound and that, you, you get it with age, it just comes. But ringing in the ears after a loud event, that's not good and you have to be protective of your hearing. So I'll tell you what, here's what I've done. After hundreds of dollars, after so many experiments with earplugs that I can't tell you, and then forgetting them, I mean, I got them here. So on my keys, I have this little, and, and this has a pair of earphones in here, or head, yeah, earplugs. Uh, that I can unscrew, but it's so small that I usually can't get the other one out of there. I get the first one, but I can't get the second one out of there. And that plugs up my ears. So I have come up with a great solution and it's cheap, it's effective, and it works great. I have it with me every time I am somewhere. You know what it is? Kleenex. Yep. I'll take, Terry always has Kleenex. I'm usually at a concert with Terry. She'll have a Kleenex or a napkin. I'll take it and I'll crunch it up and I'll stick it into my ears and it works great. I can, I adjust to it pretty quickly. Am I hearing great fidelity? No, but I'm hearing reasonable fidelity. We were just at the Lion King and most indoor spaces, like at the Denver Performing Arts Center where we were watching The Lion King, which is, a, which is great. How those guys get up on their, you know, those giraffes, man, that, that's amazing. I, I was blown away. I, anyway, it was just great. But they always do it too loud. Always. I don't know. I, ha I swear to God, sound reinforcement engineers have to be deaf. I don't get it. I don't get it. And nobody else seems to pay attention to it, but it's too loud. It's just too loud and because it barks. So I use napkins, folded up, crunched into my ears. 
I get used to them, and I hear everything. The sound isn't too loud. I can enjoy it, and I have it everywhere. And at the end of the day, after spending all that money, that's what I've come up with. <laughs> and you can use it for free. All right. Do take care of your ears and your hearing, please. Thank you.